This is Sport Night Amplified with Undele. Okay. 6 till 7 p.m. Powered by SABC Sports. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to it. It's Sports Night Amplified with Andy on the mighty Metro FM. The interesting thing about yesterday's conversation, if you missed it, was about women's football and the challenges in South African women's football. We've now seen, um, you know, teams not pitching up for games. We've seen teams not wanting to play games. And the story was very sad that we told yesterday of a team that is getting 1,800 rands to eat an entire team for the day. Mm-hmm. You know, but the chairman called this morning saying that, after the conversation we had here yesterday, Timmy, what was it? Ukrele seventy thou in his account. He still doesn't know where it's from, but he's 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 truly grateful for the assistant. And uh, you know, I wish and I hope it's not a once-off for one team because many of those teams struggling in the Hollywood Super Bates and they'd love for corporate South Africa to jump in there. Uh, I mean, it's televised on the SABC every weekend, so definitely something in investing in that it's 12 after the hour six and today is going to be a great conversation and i'm looking forward to tomorrow as well if you've seen uh maria Ledwava and her team have come out to say they're going to try and stop the safra elections mazola Mulefe joins me in the studio of course um whenever he's got something great and what he's brought to us today is absolutely amazing and i can't wait for it but before we even go there you saw the statement yeah, look, uh, it's it's interesting uh, uh, what's going to happen. I think I- I- even tomorrow, I believe, she's holding a press conference. She is. So it's all going to get unpacked. At, uh, what, two days after she's been confirmed as, as, as a, a legit candidate for the SAFA presidency. You remember a few weeks ago when I was here telling you that press conference, even if she calls it the previous one, was never going to happen uh, because uh, she'd been obviously barred from from, yeah. from campaigning and sharing her manifesto. So if she plans to interdict and stop the elections, the elections. I mean, we hear these stories every every election year. So this is not this is not a surprise. So let's see how this all unfolds. Let me read it to you, dear honourable members. It goes, and I quote: "Please be informed that the vice president of the South African Football Association, Miss Riale Duaba, has approached the court." on an urgent basis to stop the SAFA elections scheduled for 25 June 2022-607. Close quotes. So we'll get into that tomorrow only, though. It's 13 after the hour, 6 of a special guest, a man uh, that has traveled the lengths and breadths from Tuduza. He's seen the world from being a student at Tugs or playing the football there. He's gone to the world and back. It's, It's one of those shows... Where, Mazola, the guest that you brought, because you brought Bongani here. It's one of those shows where... I know there's going to be uh, people that don't normally listen or watch football going to like, yo, Bong, honey, I'm there. Yeah, no, they they have to to hear what Bong says to say. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of questions about Bong's future. Uh, he's a free agent now, and I've you know I've said this to Bong's before that it's it's brilliant position to be in uh, as as a footballer to to be a free agent. You know, where you get to to make the call on your. Own future. On your own future as to where to next. And and I'm sure I'm sure offers are probably coming in left, right and centre. I mean, we know he's a top footballer. I personally think pity that he's not in the Bafana squad, but maybe he, <laughs> Bongs can tell us why he thinks he's not in the Bafana we'll squad. We'll get into that and more. Former University of Pretoria, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, Vitoria, Guamaraisha, Amiens and Rangers player, South Africa International as well. Bongani Zungu is in the studio with us. And for the next hour, we're just going to be you know, just catching up, just having some chats. He's sitting across from me. Uh, you can tell he shops in Paris, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like me and you, Mazola. This man shopped in Paris before he got here, clearly. <laughs> Thank you so much to Mazol, of course. Uh, um, I hijacked his interview and I said, let's rather have it on radio. So that's the other voice you're going to be hearing as we do this. Once, welcome back. Uh, it's good to see you. Good to be here, Andile. So happy to be here, um... Thanks to Mazola because he's been pushing me to come. I think even before I got here in South Africa, like he's been like, yeah, you need to come. You know, I changed jobs, you know, so happy to be here, man. It's good to see you. You're looking good. You're looking fit. How long have you been here? When you left, did you say goodbyes? Tell me about the last two weeks. I can imagine it's been hectic. Well, I didn't say my goodbyes in Amia because they still trying to, you know, make me sign you know they want me to stay but yeah i've been here for two weeks now and yeah it's been good you know i haven't seen my family for a year Mm. and um yeah been spending time with family and uh yeah how's life in france 
like never mind football like the quality of life and i ask you because i know that is a big part of why players want to stay in a place or move in a place i mean if you go back to yesteryear south african players and the reasons why they've left countries mm-hmm. you know in, in a certain country it, it's gone down to those tidbits so how's life in france for you no france has been amazing for me you know um well it's been great of course the quality of lifestyle everything mazula was there actually um, he was yeah 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 i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't see him but uh but uh, i could tell from his post that he was uh, having fun but yeah life, the lifestyle in france is is great the food um football you know is amazing you know i had a i had a blast there man the clothes everything yeah give me the fashion it's so clear yeah everything is everything just you is know nice. top yeah. So you enjoy yourself there. You like the lifestyle there. Yeah. It's a place where you can stay there. Yeah, it's a place where I can go back there. I can, you know, I, I can speak a little bit of French. I the people in Amia, you know, I, you know, I, they love me. They 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 everywhere I go like in the restaurants, um shops, you know, um yeah. So So why why is Bongs not signing a new contract at Amia? Why are you not signing a new contract? I didn't say I'm not going to sign. You know? So what are the difficulties, perhaps? What are the difficulties about Amia? What are the difficulties that would have you thinking about it? Well, what's, what's not so easy in France? No, I can't. There's, I am thinking about it, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a guy that takes risks, you know. Um, ever mm. since I was young, you know, I, always, I left home when I was very, very young. I went to Limpopo to trial at Dynamos. Ever since then, you know, I always want to move. I always want to take risks, you know. And along the way, things happen. You you get to experience, you know, especially football is it's a very, you know, I've got experience. I've been in the game for 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 quite some time now. So so yeah yeah, I, I'd I'd go I'd go back, but you know, there's just a lot, you know. It's not just about foot French football or the lifestyle. It's about there's a lot boardroom stuff paperwork the future you know i'm turning 30 this year so i have to see you know what i'm saying so is it money bonds is it no the money is good i'm good honestly i'm good (laughs) but yeah it's experience you know you know you know i just have to talk to my family you know about Try what, yeah, what if, yeah, try new things. Keep what the, if, keep the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The trend of being a risk yeah, player. Yeah, at the end of the day, this whole football thing will come to an end one day and mm. I'll have to come back home. So why not try to experience other countries' football elsewhere, you know? When you think about, I mean, we look at Bongs playing for Sundowns, which is the last place you played here before you left, and who you were at Bafana Bafana, the trajectory of what we thought where Bongs should be when we thought in Europe where you should be playing, we thought, here it is. Here's the next big thing. When you think of your career now and where you are, what do you think? Are you saying, this is where I am and I'm happy? Are you saying I'm still ambitious and there's still so much more ahead of me? I still have so much to achieve. Or are you happy to say, hey, I'm turning 30. I'm happy I'm still playing and I just want to make as much money as possible. Are you happy with where your career took you? To be honest, I'm... You know, I had a conversation with a very close friend of mine like a couple of months back. Um, and he said to me, actually a couple of days back, you know, he said to me, you know, if you'd retire right now, you should be proud of yourself. Proud of myself because of where I come from, you know, Duduza, Nkulele Mkukwin, you know, all of those things. But, you know, I'm still ambitious. I'm, I still want to win titles. I st- I'm still uh, but looking back you know from the sundowns days bafana bafana you know i'm i'm very proud but i still want more i still want to you know go further i still want to go elsewhere or stay in amia win the league go back to league one you know what i'm saying i'm still ambitious i love football i'm i'm, I'm a top player and that will never change until the day i retire and when you think about rangers yeah well what comes to mind I'll tell you what 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 the perception is, but I'd love to know from you. When you think about that time in your life, how do you retrospect that? Yeah, Rangers. Um, yeah, 
I was happy to to, to go to Rangers, and um, I had I had offers to uh, Mazola knows, you know. I I tell him some, you know. I had offers to go elsewhere, but I chose Rangers. Steven Gerrard um, made me go to Rangers, and during my time there, you know, I played for a team that was winning games, a team that had a lot of competition, and and I was waiting to for my chance, of course, you know. But you know, of course, the coach cannot change winning the winning team. team yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he told me because I'm the type of player, you know, I ask questions, I need to play. And um, yeah, then things happened off the field, and you know, what happened? Yeah, you know, let's hear it from you because there's been so much that has been written and said, but let's hear it from you. Yeah, no, I was just in a wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I had my own reasons, and uh, I went to see a friend, and you know, there was people there, and then, but when the the image of that went to the media. You know, it, it looked like I was, you know, I'm a bad guy. I did some stuff. But that, the whole scenario didn't change anything from Steven Gerrard because according to the media, oh, he's done. Mm. But, you know, these things happen. And, 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 and I was there for like four months going uh, training back home, you know, and then just one one night where... I wanted to go see my friend and then boom, you know what I'm saying? But the team understood, you know, and uh, it's something that, you know, I I live every day and I think about, but it was never a cause of me not signing there because, because of other boardroom stuff, you know. I can tell you that Gerard wanted me, wanted me to stay at Rangers, but <coughs> then Amya... Whatever happened, but uh, but yeah, yeah that, I mean, you were still an army player, so yeah, you yeah. wanted money as well, yeah, of course, because yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you know what I'm saying, because you go there on loan with an option to buy, and then yeah, you know, and then the last conversation I had with with with, with Steven Gerrard, he was like, I want you, I want to sign you, you're the type of player we want. Um, well, he said I was a player before, I did some stuff, I know exactly, you know, but <laughs> the media, you know, you know, you know, the media, you know, so. But do you regret that one night that, you know, because that's what then propelled amongst a lot of people and maybe other teams as well, you know, the pay, the, the picture that that painted? No, I cannot say I regret, you know, I don't have any regrets about, because as I just said, like what happened that day was never the cause of my future mm. with Rangers. Because it's not as big a deal as you like understand. everybody else I went to, Exactly. I went to Mallorca, I went to Spain, for example. I did medicals and then, in the last minute, last minute yeah. Amir said, "No, you need to go come back. We don't. You, you know what I'm saying." Which then makes me want to know: Is this perhaps could be an issue with you and Amir? Because here's a team that loves you and wants to keep you, but at the same time, it sounds like they've kept you from some great opportunities. That's true. That's true. You know, I, you know, I. This season has been, you know, it has been like crazy at Amir because. You know, a lot of people don't understand what happens, you know, behind the scenes with the club, with the boardroom things. You know, I understand I'm there, you know what I'm saying? And I've got dreams, ambitions. You just spoke about dreams, the sundown sky, when, you know what I'm saying? And then there's going to be one guy that's going to take that away from you, a guy that doesn't know where you come from, you know, does not know your ambitions. So, so a lot of people don't really understand they just read things on twitter oh bongan is like this oh you know but i can't change that you know everyone is entitled to their opinion and i've been through a lot personally in my life so those things they just you know i'm here right now and i'm a free agent i'm happy we'll see what's what's we'll see, we'll see what's next you know. Bongani was joining us for a conversation about this and that and absolutely everything there's a lot of speculation i'm going to say two words and i want to see which one he smiles at chiefs Sundowns. <laughs> I'll tell you when we come back when he smiles. <laughs> Bonnie, I want to play you something. And at the end of it, I want your purest, honest opinion into what you think about it. Here we go. And this came up when we were speaking about Zoom. Have 
Have you had a conversation with Wangani Zungu since? No, Where is he? No, but I see, no, but I see it has happened before. So I'm very sorry. But this is not the guy who has to be in our group for the moment. And I don't speak only about his qualities as a player. But then you see the troubles he had in, in Amiens this year. He only played, he didn't play the half of the, of the games because there were troubles. Not because he was not good enough, but because there were troubles. It was three or four months ago the, the, the trainer and the, and, the, and the chairman of the club wanted to, 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 get, to get him away. Is that important to you, coach? Yeah. What happened off the field? Yeah. Did it up, did no. They bring on no. The field? What happens, uh, what is important, is the attitude, the mentality of the player. Mm. One player can mess up everything because he don't have the right mentality. So, for the moment, I will not take Zoom. No, because because when I see what happened in, 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 uh, in, uh, in Amiens, it can happen also here. But that I don't want. That is my conversation with um, the national team coach, Coach Hugo Bruce. <laughs> I, to be honest, um, you know, when I heard what the coach said, and you know, um, actually, you know, when I I was on my way here, I was like, I thought to myself, like, I wouldn't say much about because I don't know the coach. Uh, you guys have never met? I've never met Never him. spoken? I've never spoke to him. So if a national team coach says, yeah, he takes his tablet and reads what is being said. And for me, if you take your phone and call me and yeah, ask yeah. me, Bungani, <clears throat> I saw this, blah, blah, blah. oh, I'm not going to call you because I've seen this. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Give you a chance to explain. Yeah. To explain, you know. But then the guy goes to came to you guys and you know he said what he said you know i i don't have any i cannot i don't know him as a coach i don't know you know but uh for me i, I don't have any thing you know because i can easily s well say whatever you know oh, oh big 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 headed and say stuff but i i, I don't have any any comment you know i cannot um, but how do you feel about not being part of the team Everyone knows, dude, I've always given Bafana Bafana everything. You know, I went to the AFCON with a knee injury. You know, I, ever, every time when I, I, I wear the Bafana jersey, I've always given 100%, you know. But um, to be honest, I expected at least a call from him because, you know, despite everything that happened in Amia this season, um, I made peace with the club with the coach with the president of Amia. everything was good you know one of the reasons why i did that because i want to play so i can be in the national, national team because <clears throat> whether we like it or not right now i can contribute massively in the national team you know i can you know i've got quality i've been there and but what he said about me you know as i just said i can i, ca I can say anything about him too you know but you know i work with this type of coaches mentality in Europe, I understand, you know, but I, with due respect, I, I don't have anything that and, I have and, to say about. And Monks, that's what I was saying to you. What happened at Rangers? What happened? This because that's the perception that's been sent out, and it's not just Hugo Bruce. You know, there's teams all over the world that think that a Bongani Zungu in the change room is not a good idea because is he good for the change room? And that's why we have you here so we can hear it from you. That if there were mistakes that were made, if there were things that were done that, you know, you've outgrown or outlived, for whatever reason, we get to the bottom of it. Because now you have something like this from, and all we can do sitting here, not everybody's got, you know, let me call Bongani and ask him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, you know, for me, football, football is, is life for me, you know, because there's a lot of things that happen in food, happens. In football you know um people players go through a lot you know and 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 what happened in amia this season i wanted to leave from before i went to amia last year yeah you know I wanted to <coughs> we leave. did that interview that got you in trouble <laughs> yeah and i was honest you know what i'm saying because the coach went to the media and said oh i don't know but he denied mm -hmm. you know he went to the media oh bongani is overweight oh and then I was like, okay, if you're going to say this, I'm going to be honest too. That, okay. And then I told them, I, I want to, I don't want to play for, for Amia anymore. on Ali. And things happened, but we fixed that. You know what I'm saying? We fixed that with, with, with the team, with the president. 
But we have a national team coach that sits down with his laptop and reads what a journalist from Ukraine says about Bunganizum. Oh, he's not good for my team. I cannot, you know what I'm saying? But, 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 but yeah, to, to answer your question, like things happen, you know, it's been in the game for long, you know, it's relationships there, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of, there will be ups and downs and it's part of life. So if you, if you got a call up, uh, for the next qualifier, obviously you're not in the Morocco squad for for this week, but <clears throat> there's a couple of call ups coming up. If you if you if you got one, I mean, I suppose would would you would you would you honor the call up or you need a under face, the same coach obviously. under the same coach or you would need a face to face with Coach Hugo first to to clear 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 the air. I mentioned that I don't know him, I've never met him. I'm I'm a professional guy. I love to play for Bafana Bafana. You know what I'm saying and. I can contribute like massively, as I mentioned. So I love playing for my country. If he call me, I'd go play. How much of what happens on your social media, particularly on Twitter, because you're not the one quiet people. How much do you think that contributes to how you're perceived? A lot, a lot, a lot. Because as I said, people people say whatever on, 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 on social media and and it does contribute especially if you're going to have a person that's going to read and judge you based on what long is it blah blah but what about what you say because <clears throat> so, you know i've never i'm not sure if it's out of frustration or whatever but every now and then you tweet some things that then get the talking going how much of what you say on social media, particularly on Twitter, do you think contribute to a perception of you? You know, I find closure when I say something. So for me, at this moment in my career, if I'm going to have a person that is going to take that and think, oh, he's like this, he's like that, he's like that, then as long as I found closure to what at least I'm being honest done, a journalist or any guy that, you know, cause there, there was a, a radio DJ, I don't remember his name. The guy who said I, I faked injury, blah, 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 blah. I think this was um, two years ago, I faked injury when Bafana went to Port Elizabeth. I remember that, yeah. You understand, I, I was at, in camp, the, the national team doctor saw me, I had, a, I had a stitches, you know, and and I sent that tweet to, and that thing was like all over, you know what I'm saying? So if a guy like that says those things and I'm sitting like this, already the people are having, oh, Bongani Zungu, yeah. it's just because the guy has, you know, bigger audience on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes if I say something, as long as I find closure and I feel good about it and it makes me sleep at night, you're good, I'm happy. So for those that, are listening now who think you'd be divisive because at Bafana Bafana he was the one and I'm telling you perception out there he's the one that coordinates the parties he's the one that starts the parties he's the party animal he's also very divisive in terms of how he works he'll divide a team he'll create what do you make of that perception of you is it even close to who you are no chance the people that know me the people that know Bongani personally no chance, you know. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, you know, I became a very influential player in the national team, the dressing room, at the AFCON, at the, you know, the people that know Bongani, they'll, they'll tell you different, you know. So, but I, I'm not living my life to try and explain myself to people mm. that don't know me, you know. Everyone is entitled to to their opinion and I cannot change that but I cannot live my life trying to you know make people change or change their perception the of perception them. of me you know what I mean so <coughs> so so but uh you know I roll with the ones that know me hmm. Let's go. Let's get into what South Africa wants to know. Fortunately like this hour has just gone by. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Bongani? Yeah. I know you've had conversations with Sundowns. 
How do you know? Who told I know. You? Who's your source? No, no, no. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How have those conversations gone? Ah, my friend, you. <laughs> <laughs> How have those conversations gone? No, sundowns. You know, I met. I, said, I told. I think I. I said I, I met uh, the president, Mutsipe in Paris the other year, and he told me sundowns will always be home. You mm. know. So, so sundowns will always be my home, you know, no matter what happens from now until I make my decision on where I'm going to be. But it's, it's time not running out, Bongs. I mean, you're a free agent, a good place to be in, but you need to start pre-season, you, you know. You need to be there when the teams start pre-season so that when the season proper starts, you hit the ground running. So... Do you have a timeline? You know what other offers? I mean, I think I, sh I might have shared this with you, but there were there are stories circulating now in Israel about, you know, how Apuel Tel Aviv or is it Ma Maccabi Tel Aviv? One of one of the Tel Aviv uh, giants after your services, and obviously offers coming from 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 all sides now. Yeah, I, I, with the time, that is why I'm very calm because, as I said earlier, when I started, you know. Um, it's very important. This is a very, very important part of my football career, you know. For me, this is, should be, I want it to be like maybe the last contract of my career. Wow. Abroad or Abroad, in general? In general. Even, even here at home? Yeah. Okay. Sundowns know. are not the only team here at home that have been talking to you, that have been wanting your services. Sundowns is the only team that spoke to my agent and they <laughs> yeah they spoke to my they, they they spoke to my agent and are they speaking to your agent still or they just they spoke are, and it's done they are speaking they are because you know they are speaking and others are trying to, to get others are who are others <laughs> have bobby and Kaiser jr reached out to you <laughs> have chiefs reached out to you How are you putting me on this? <laughs> no, I'm not saying are you <laughs> signing with them. I'm saying have they reached out? I mean, I, I mean they're a giant Bongani, of South African I'm, football. I'm a top player. Of course, they go. Teams are going to try and exactly. find out, like, okay, what's, what's your situation? Mean? What's what's yeah. what? What's what? And you know, and yeah, but I'm 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 I'm, I'm my phone is just you know I'm open. I'm listening to. To, to to what's going happen. you know what is buzzing. very quickly <laughs> because I, I, need, I need people to talk to you you are loved and I want you to feel that love here at home you know with all that you read everywhere I want you to know that here you are loved but very quickly are you at a point in your career where you're willing to come back to South Africa and what does that feel like does that feel like you've lost does that feel like you've come to an end what does it feel like if you are at that point and are you if I do come back to South Africa, I mentioned earlier, Andile, if I do stop my career, I, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd be at peace with everything that I have accomplished in my life because of where I come from as Bongani. But if I do come here, no, I wouldn't, you know, think it's it's the end. You know, I think... I think I still have a lot to offer, you know. Um, I've got good genes. I look young, you know. If you say so yourself, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 so, 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 yeah. If I do come back here, but, 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 you know, I, I'm also in talks with clubs in Europe, and and and. We'll but there see. is a possibility that you will play here. That is something you're thinking about. Yeah, you're going to think if can with can they afford. Bongani Zungu in South Africa right mm, now? Mm. Ish. I mean, no, I think, I think, few, probably, yeah, I few. think, I think because from what I've heard from my agent, you know, at home, they're very serious. You know what I'm saying? At yeah. At home. Yeah. You know. They, I mean, the president said it's home, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, the president said yeah, it's yeah, at they, home. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. But they, it, but they speak in the right numbers. Yeah, you know, yeah. 
All right, let's let's let, let me not on, <laughs> on even more of a spot, but I'll make, tell you what, and we'll have a conversation. Switch, yeah. yeah, we'll have a conversation after this because I've I've. I've spoken to the coach so much and I hear your point as well to say the South African national coach needs to look perhaps beyond what he's reading. Mm. And, you know, I think something should be done for a Bongani and, and a coach. You know, I think you, 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 you're smiling like, oh, like he's actually, you know, I know who Bongani is and yeah. I know who the coach and between the two, you never know Bongs because you're right on one thing. South Africa still needs you. Yeah, You are right on one thing. There's no doubt The qualities that, yeah. that you have I mean, the last time I remember, I was the only person, a spectator in a stadium in Durban during COVID, watching them play. And, you know, South Africa came on and you were the difference in that match. So South Africa does need you and it will be great. But let's take some calls because Bongani is here. And I can tell you now, it's everybody going to convince you to go to Sundowns with Chiefs is what's coming. <laughs> uh, let's go straight into it. Who do we have? We have uh, Charles out in Pretoria. Charlie. Hi, Andile. Hey, doll. Hey, what's up, uh, love man? Ah, uh, bula le, na gei sa onyagen. Let me, let me say, uh, greetings to Bongani and Madola. Madola. Hey, my brother, how are you? I'm good, man. Madola, please convince Bongani to come to the coaching nation. <laughs> That's not... my team. We had a bad experience. Please, I'm begging you, Bongani. Bongani, what is waiting for? Agent number. I'm not his agent. I can't <laughs> <be> <laughs> Bongani, <laughs> Tony is waiting for you, but nevertheless, I want to go into this thing of Hugo Bruce. Mm. Honestly, for me, it's irritating me now. As a South African, that guy, he's 70 years old. Everybody knows in South Africa when you are 65, it's your retirement. I don't know what is Bruce, uh, Bruce doing with this thing of undermining our place. He's just respecting our soccer in South Africa, and he's, he's killing uh, our best players, honestly. He's talking bad, he's taking bad publicity and making us look uh, yeah, as if we are nothing. We've got good players in South Africa. And now he wants to come and control the, the national team. As if, I don't know what to say, but honestly for me, Hugo Bruce is missing the plot here. All right, Charles. And under him, and I'm negative about this, Bafana. I love my country, but with him still, our coach... I'm very negative. I don't even wish the in to win any games, honestly. Wow, Charles, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I'm going to try and get to as many as possible. Who do we have next? Uh, in deep slot, I think it's my... Oh, Debo Khoi, Debo Good day, Johnny. Ah, no. All good. Bongani is here. Nande, Chumba. Ah, Uti na Uti Am. Sure, sure. Dave, are you with our Ampana? Hola, 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 Tam. No, I'm not I push and pan push, I push, I push a car up the way. Ah, no, thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, the spirit now. Yeah. I appreciate it. Ah, it's pushing out here. Thank you very much. It's Tabaka out in Dalmas. Let's go to Mandila, Kane, Deep Slot. Yeah, bro. I'm being a, you know, <clears throat> you know, coaching for life. Um, um, this is what I'm going to say uh, to you, uh, Ben Ten Wunjan Put. Yeah, Pila Wunjan Put. Right, but uh, it's in the band of Santan's about the position. Yako, I know you're a talented player. I know about begging a part of the Mara Menuzo and Abandana now. They've got they, 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 they've got to AJ, they've got to Kutia, they've got to Mabu, they've got Bangati Kai, but convinced Baningi, Abanying of a coffin, the Gunabo Nabumba, Baning of the other position. I know about begging a part. I feel good pirates. Uno Macarin, Gunabo Mutuar, Gunabo, 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 computer Gunabo, 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 Bonilabo Pesi, Bebanga Benga, but appreciate it. Kinasi and Tan in South Africa. And if you pull a lay to Abagan Capi Serious and Alendela, Unifene Lam say to Gucci in Ufan and Alamanama play, I beg Horn and Pambil, Afiga Sala lay, and then Ubonilo Wenza Ralen, Ubantaba Talente, Abosana and Abosrero. So, bra, uh, please come back home, be with your family, play football. Make last nice memories, go and play the Soweto Derby, brother. Mm-hmm. So, never mind that small team in Sundowns. Let's go, I appreciate you. Is that would that sway you another way? You know, I know back in the day, maybe not so much now, 
But the thought of the Soweto Derby, does that excite you? Honestly, it never had. I've never been excited about it. Maybe it's because I was at Sundowns, you know. Mm. At Sundowns, you know, Sundowns is a very, you know... But Mohan, it's not it's not ninety thousand at the F and B on a Saturday afternoon. It's ah, but he's played in Portugal. He's played yeah, in France. Yeah, he's played in Scotland. I played against PSG. It's <laughs> F and B. There, it's Mohan. always <laughs> okay. How much of the financial is going to impact in your decision? How much does money matter in your decision? And I ask this because it doesn't matter how much South African teams offer you. They're not going to offer you anything near what you make Nabo Tulane Serrero there in, in the oil-rich Arabian countries. How much of... And you're saying this is your last contract. So it means Should a lot be, financially. You, 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 you'd like it to be. Yeah. How much of finances matters here? Yeah, because after football, I'm still young, you know? Um, after football... Only, only after then you'll be my age. And you understand. Age. You understand. <laughs> so I'd be very young, and I have my, I have, I have, you know, my, my whole life, and you know, so it does. It do, really it does have an impact on decisions and where to be. You know, I've got a son now, so also congratulations. Thank you. Us. You know, my boy. What did you name him? Micah. Micah. What does that mean? Micah. He's like God. Ah, oh, he's beautiful. got a, he's got a French passport, by the way. Yeah, he's French. So he can play. He can yeah, play man. Uh, yeah, he's so French. he's gonna have the choice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, fine. so that too, you it's know, a big decision. Yeah, with my life, with where I want to see him grow up. Maybe here, yeah, maybe I don't know. Then that 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 gets me thinking. That's a big hold then for Amian to have on you because. If that's the kind of life and a place you want to see your son grow up because of the life that they have there, the quality of life, that's also a consideration. Yeah. That is why I mentioned that. I cannot say it's done with Amia. You may never know. It's life. It's 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 football. And this goes back to what people read on, on the tablets. You know what I'm saying? Amia loves me. The president loves me. He wants me at his club. He wants me to be the captain. He wants to, to offer me good contract he wants me to leave he even said to me your son was born here so that you know i do consider it do consider it Oli is out in french it's been a while Oli. welcome to the show yes, how are you very well very well um i've got ben 10 Stumba. there's so many nicknames uh <laughs> talk to him yeah i know him as Ebus Stumba from i'm a, I'm a, I'm a tax yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, ben 10 so the only thing I, I i want to see from you is is commanding a regular back in bafana of Anacanas regardless of the team you are playing for. Uh, the reason for that is because most of my favorite players from other teams, other than Kaiser Chiefs, uh, when they join Kaiser Chiefs, they always struggle to, 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 to fit into the system. And I have been wondering wh- wh- what's going on there. And this is with the exception of Uyeye Noshaba. Most of other players have been struggling. So I've got a fear. To, 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 if you join my team, you might also go the other route. But other than that, I believe in you, my brother. Mm, you've got talent, and I, I, I think you can play anywhere you want as long as you put your mind into it and, and remain professional because I, I like the professionalism you've shown over the past years. And I, I, I honestly think uh, you've made yourself very clear that you, you, you are one of the best players we have in, in, in South Africa. Koli, in French, thank you very much. Let's go to Macau. Jimmy? Hey, Mama. Hey, I know. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, boss? I'm going to go. Sure, sure, man. What's up, bro? I'm not doing it. No, I'm going to go to the Yeah. I'm decision. to go to the and the end of the day, it will be in the family house. It will be in the family house. Whatever team you will choose, make sure, remember, you are going to fight and be in the field and play. Not to say, no worry, or never be in change, just get paid for my heart. You are a legend. 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 
Yeah, yeah. All the way, Jimmy from Macau. I remember Pito speaking, and he made an example about Tulane. He made an example about uh, Dean and Lovu, saying Percy that as well Percy, in, in he doesn't like region. to see players as talented at your age coming back home. Yeah. He wants you to go see the world, make as much money as you can. Do you still speak to him? Do you have a relationship with Peter? I uh, lost his number. Okay. <laughs> what do you make of that, though? To say, go out there, do everything, and only come home like Benny McCarthy to say your goodbyes, like Stephen P. now to play a season at home. Yeah, I mean, those are the people that we, as young stars, we're looking up to, you know? Those were the... Those people, the people that made a guy like me, a young guy from it to do that, to have dreams, to 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 want to play in Europe. So, so, so yeah. Boy, I appreciate you. I've always had the utmost of respect for you and your talent. Um, I can't wait to see what you do next. But uh, I want to play you just one voice note. Timmy says, "Hey, we have to play it," and then let you go. And all the best. What, what what's the timeline? You make a decision by when? Muzzle like agent number two. When Look, is the yeah, yeah. Be, before before preseason, <laughs> this guy even has my agent's number. Yeah, you know, this, you guy. know. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you know, Bongs Bongs has to make a decision before the end of the month because that's when teams are going back for preseason. Remember, remember. So end the, of this month. Yeah, the so season, end of June. Yeah, the seasons have to be shortened because of the upcoming World Cup. Yeah. So he has to make his mind by the end of June. Otherwise, he'll join a team <laughs> too, too late. Eh? <laughs> Uh, good evening, Andy Le Umazola and Uzo. There you have it. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, you heard it from the man. And I say this all the time. And I said it when the Brazilian pictures came out about the fight um, at the training ground. And the video came out and the guys were playing around. Don't believe everything you read. Don't. Because that's how great people, great players, will end up being jobless. Support your players. Bongs, we appreciate you. And all the best with that decision. Once you've made it, give us a call. For sure. <laughs> Mazola, thank you for bringing him. Always, always. Ma. When you get the cut from the deal. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. Thank you so much, guys. A Chiefs fan is sitting here. What are you saying? I am going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to You know, me, I, I, I don't play this diplomacy about Andy. <laughs> me, I'm clear. Yeah. I, w- I know ah, I want Guys, thank you so much. I really oh, do appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> this is Sport Night Amplified with Andile. Okay. 6 till 7 p.m. Powered by SABC Sports. Let's go. Let's go.